Hello and welcome to part one of the FX 72nd scale Fairy Swordfish Mark 1. Yes, the old string bag. Yeah, 72nd scale biplane. Yeah, not my first choice. However, I just had a nose to buy, uh, well, to buy one and build one. So hopefully we'll be getting a lot of this. And hopefully none of this. Wankers. Fucking embarrassing. Waste of our time. Fucking waste of our time. So first off is Scalemates. Yes, Scalemates is the website that I go to to get all the information that I do need before I purchase or some reference material. Now you get a full loadout of uh, what deck options you get, the history of the kit, but also you get a set of instructions. Well, mostly you do anyway. They are typical air fixes, uh, black and white, um, color callouts and home rule only. And yeah, the placements of the parts, yeah, they're pretty okay. However, um, the FX's new uh, um, instructions are a hell of a lot better. The color code is and color coordinated and will make your life a hell of a lot easier. But these instructions, yeah, they'll do. They're not too bad. Anywho, decal options. You get three. You get a B, well, you get the black one. You get this one, which I'm doing. Thank you. And a silver dope one. So, at the moment, really, all you've heard is me saying this. So with that out of the way, if you could, consider liking the video and also subscribing if you haven't. And finally, click on the old bell button to get notifications on the next videos. Right, the kit. It comes in a single bag. Uh, you get a set of instructions, thank goodness. And some stickers, little decals, anyway. Um, bit of a topsy-turvy one to start with on this one. Um, I did actually order some uh, photo etch for the uh, cockpit. However, uh, a bit delayed. So what I'm doing is, is I'm gonna be building sort of like the wind sections um, to begin with. And later on in the video, we can start on with the actual cockpit and getting that sorted out. But one thing I did find on the kit itself um, is a lot of pit marks and sort of like strange anomalies actually on the plastic. And top of that, also some flash. Now, you may think, well, it's just easy enough to get it off. However, um, if you're new to this and you do experience some flash on the actual kit itself, then yeah, you're gonna have to be mindful and get well, clear it off as best as you possibly can. So to end with, bit odd to say, uh, the cockpit, that's all the bits and pieces that you need to get the cockpit together and the fuselage halves all closed up. But like I said, the photo edge hadn't arrived yet. So we went on to the wings. Cool, blimey governor, ho oh, ho, elephant and castle. Anyway, the, um, the wings, they are a pretty much simple affair top and bottoms but also you'll get your struts and other entendres to go with it now when you're actually putting it together um, one thing I found is you do get a bit of a gap um, in like uh, the leading and the trailing edge of the wings now I did find is when I put the actual glue in which would be the Tamiya extra thin once you start pushing them down it does sort of like get rid of it however if it doesn't for you, um, maybe some simple sanding, a bit of filler, um, I don't know, plastic putty or the triple P stuff should sort it out, no problem. Now, one thing I was happy with um, is the way that the top part of the wings actually go together, as in you've got a bar or let's say a strengthening spar that actually acts as a quite a good sort of like solid ridged bit as it were for the top wing so also um well you're not going to get any sag um and also it is pretty damn strong 
So with that, you can pop them together. And yes, you do get the slight gap um, in the wings to where the section is where the actual wing fold would be. Now, it's up to you. You can either leave it or you can fill it and rescribe. What I would do is fill it, fill it, who bloody hell's fill it? Fill it and rescribe because on the other side, the gap is non-existent, but you get another gap on the other side, which will make it look a bit daft because your main wing, the upper wing is quite prominent. God, I don't know if I talk a lot anyway. Oh, look. The photo watch has arrived. Anywho, right. Um, yeah. It's very small. I'm going blind. And yeah. Good quality stuff. It isn't uh, Eddard's. It's from a company for, uh, that I can't actually pronounce. So I'm not going to embarrass myself. Um, however, it is very much like Eddard's um, photo etch. It's incredibly easy to use and to bend, and it does get onto the kit with a little bit of super glue, all very well and good. So, with that, and my sausage fingers and my fading eyesight, it is a question of just trying to get it and sort it out. But, uh, but yeah, I did have a few occasions that this happened. And on other occasions, it went on pretty simple enough. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, priming. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, I used a dark grey and I went straight into using um, Hataka's Midstone. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the exact colour is um, for it but I found that the midstone was the nearest of what I had, so I used it. So just painting it my normal way for a, an interior, going for, um, if there's like panels or anything else like that, I'll go for the middle bits and then just go in and cut through with some light coats over it, just to give that sort of like shadowing depth perception. Wow, all these words, Lenny. Yeah, try not to blow the kit away. Anyway, that was the first bit. Um, just making sure that I've basically covered everything that I need to. And it would be a simple case of afterwards, just masking up um, and just going in with the interior gray green, which will be, or which is the standard color of the British Royal Air Force cockpits. Anywho, there you go. That's the green. So, basically thinned it down and I just went for it so yeah I shall leave you in the cable hands of my hand an airbrush and some tunes So once all the paint was completely dry, um, I went straight in for um, some weathering. So all I've used here is MIG Ammo's uh, Dark Wash. Um, just let it sort of like flow all the way around um, where it needs to go. And then basically coming in to cut in and take off what I need to take off. Um, I didn't actually go uh, full Helter Scouter on this one, um, namely because once you get the two uh, fuselage tiles together um, there isn't an awful lot that you can see um, so your efforts won't be in vain but you just won't see an awful lot of them so I really wouldn't concentrate too much on sort of like getting it sort of like super duper however if you want to do that then that's entirely up to you
so with the weathering complete uh, it's just a case now of trying to get all of the cockpit um, together and buttoned up um, first of all it's basically trying to get uh, the front part of the cockpit as in the the pilot seat together it is a decent enough fit um, but again just watch what you're doing and look at the instructions because there was a couple of times where I thought oh yeah that goes oh no I don't um, and yeah also um, remember what I said about um, the flash now the reason why I said that is because um, if you don't get rid of the flash on the cockpit parts then they won't go together very well namely because the flash is going to stop the actual mating points um, and it's not going to happen for you so make sure that all the flash is off and you do get a decent enough surface to so you can actually attach the parts together but overall i have to say for the size of the kit the complexity of it it does fit rather well again just look at your references look at your instructions and you can't go wrong Right, now for the fun part. <sighs> Ping! Anyway, trying to get everything together and buttoned up. Um, right, one thing I'm gonna say is, A, make sure you've got everything in the right place. And even if you do, yeah. Uh, it was a struggle trying to get everything in and in together. Basically getting the uh, the hard points um, to well the attachment points to be where they need to be however once you've done that you still get gaps unfortunately namely at the top there so it is a case of using super glue um, some accelerant and some force in your fingers but try not to do it too much because you don't want to break the kit however once it's in and actually glued up um, yeah it does stay together rather well um, and yeah it will be a case of then it's just doing a bit of cleanup also um, like I said lining up that me there is just basically putting the instrument panel further um, towards the pilot seat just so you can actually go into the actual surface where it's actually going to make the point <laughs> yeah, you certainly make more sense than I do, mate. Anyway, right, once you've got everything in and you're happy, um, then yeah, go for it, commit to glue. Now, what I'm using is uh, VMS, uh, the black super glue, and a touch of kicker or the accelerant, which is just there in that spray can there. Once I've popped it on, give it a couple of squirts and just leave it to dry and hey presto you will get a really decent bond now if you do have like on this kit um, the ability to put uh, super glue underneath as well to basically seal it at both ends then do so it will just give you that sort of like little bit more of a um, insurance policy as it were for the, so the actual fuselage doesn't crack open but anyway just gluing the last bits and pieces together and once you've got the underside of the fuselage together I'm afraid you do get a slight gap which I have remedied that with some plastic card. Mm. Anyway, my thoughts at the moment. Um, considering it's a 70 second scale kit um, of a biplane, it's going together really well. Um, like I've said before, be mindful of the flash make sure you get everything off so you've got a decent mating surface and yeah follow the instructions and you're not going to go too far wrong hopefully so anyway with my sausage fingers and my very bad house height, um, i'm going to be cracking on and hopefully producing part two very soon so just remains me to say happy modeling take care of yourselves and i'll see you on part two thanks molly